so we just decided we'd do a little something fun today. So we're going to make some lockdown sliders. So we're going to steam some sliders with some onions on the griddle that we have over here. And we're also going to make some old day french fries out of some uh, good old fashioned rust potatoes. So the first thing we're going to do is I have my spice mixture all ready to go right here. And I chop up some french fries. So I'm just going to grab a nice big, we're, we're just using regular russets today. So we're going to leave them skin on because we kind of like the uh, kind of like the skin on when we're baking. So we're just going to season these up easily with just a little bit of Old Bay. We're going to soak them in some water to alleviate the, to get rid of some of that starch real quick. All right, we're ready to chop some, some potatoes. All right, let's do this. So we're going to go for medium, so we're not looking like, we're not looking for super thick, but we're also not looking for like McDonald's french fries. So we want something medium thickness. I think that probably, what do you think babe, does that work? Does that work? Okay, so that's it. Yeah, perfect, all right. So put that in the bowl, bring that over here. We're going to go and chop the onions now for our lockdown sliders. So just gonna jump right in here and start dismantling this delicious onion here. Um, just a little trick to keep things a little bit easier, leave the stem actually on it. So we're actually gonna go ahead and just cut this little guy in half here. Chop off a little bit of the tip here where you usually have that little twisty top just to make things a little bit easier everything on the counter here. Actually put it right there into the little makeshift garbage bowl. All right, so while I'm doing this, I'll tell you what the onions are for. Okay, so our sliders, like a lot of sliders, they're, the difference between a burger and a slider is actually that it's steamed. So depending on what you decide to go with, then you're basically gonna make a nice delectable little bed that the burger meat is going to steam and cook on. So in our case, we are using the onion method where we're just gonna chop up a bunch of onion. It's gonna go on our griddle that we have right over here and then place our meat on top of that, the buns on top of the meat and let everything steam up over a few minutes and we should have the perfect sliders. So just removing the outside of the skin, you know, the fun stuff making sure I get all that thin skin off the outside so I don't have a slip going. Move one to the side there. So we're gonna, you don't have to necessarily cut all the way back, but you do wanna, you know, start making some thinner slices. Watch out for the tears, guys. Yeah, exactly, right? Uh, I know there's a ton of methods out there. Wear goggles, rinse the onion, eat a piece of bread. None of them have ever worked for me, so I just try to get in and done as fast as I can without chopping off fingers, of course, which I'm accident prone anyway. So a little bit falls out, no big deal. You can always go back over it if they're a little too small, but I'm basically just trying to get this chopped up. All right, so hey guys, um, we're just gonna go ahead and do number two onion here, and this is about the time in the video that we'll do one of those fast forwards through, okay? <laughs> We're back. Unfortunately, some of the meat prep video got cut because of technical difficulties. But you know, things happen. So I'm basically just going to tell you what I did. So what we did is we 
took the we took about a pound of ground beef. It was 80, just standard 80, 20 ground beef. So, and I put it in the middle on top of this parchment paper and rolled it out. So nice and flat. So, and then from there, I just put on the spice mixture that we made up earlier. The spice mixture was just salt, ground salt, ground black pepper. We used Himalayan sea salt and uh, some garlic powder. So I just spread that all over the meat. And then on one side of the meat, we used the, a combination of uh, spicy burnt golden's mustard and the French's mustard. So again, you don't have to use mustard if you don't like mustard. You can use something else if you like. We like mustard, so we decided to go with the mustard. So, and you know, you know, yeah, you know, why not? So, and then from there, as I said, I put the mustard on one side. So from there, I just folded the meat over on itself. So, and this is what we have here. So we have the meat that's been folded over on itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll it out again so it's nice and flat. So, and then we're going to cover it with this pan and we're going to stick it back in the fridge for a little while. To make sure it's nice to make sure it's nice and cooled and ready to go before we put it on the skillet for steaming on the griddle sorry for steaming so i'm just going to roll this over here back over flatten that out so we're just going to take this rolling pin this rolling pin on the pan is nice because you have the handles right here so and once you roll once you roll over when the handles touch the rim of the uh of the baking pan then you should have about the thickness that you're looking for so I'm just going to roll this over. So, and we're looking as close to a rectangle as we can get. There we go. And it looks like we're about there. So we'll pull this parchment paper off to give it a good check. All right, so we're good there. I'm going to take our other sheet pan I'm going to put it right here, flatten it out nicely, give it a nice little press. And we want to make sure this stays nice and cold because we want to make sure the fat stays nice and cold. So what we have here is we have a couple of ice packs. So we're going to taste these, take these ice packs, just put them on top. So should keep everything nice and chilled just a little bit. And then we're just going to slap it in the fridge. So hey guys. I'm back again. Uh, just wanted to go over the next phase of what we're gonna do with the potatoes. So at this point, I've gone ahead and I did drain all the water out, gave them a second rinse, got any of the extra starch residual that was on the outside there. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pat these dry a little bit so that when we apply the olive oil and our seasonings, that they stick really nice and good. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I have the sheet pan that we're actually going to be using for these guys already under here. I'm just going to get them kind of positioned hopefully in a one layer kind of ish. And then I'm just going to go back over with the other tea towel and just rough them up a little bit. Dab off as much of the excess moisture as I can so that when we really get them on the sheet pan here we'll be really good to go. Because any of that water is really going to stop the oil and the seasoning from sticking really well to these guys. And a wet potato is more likely to steam as instead of what we're using is baking. So even if you're frying, you want to make sure that there's no residual water at all um, because it will really splatter. But since we're baking, we can be a little okay with leaving some of the water behind and it will be fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and move our tea towels there. Now I do have two baking sheets here ready to go because I figured that the way that we did these, we were probably gonna need them for space. Because again, we don't want them to really steam even in the oven. So what I'm gonna do is just eyeball it here, take about half out, put it on our other sheet pan here. Just like that, got half here. Now for this part, you don't have to keep them too far you know, away from one another. You actually want them right in the center. You're gonna just go over pretty good, not too liberally yet with some uh, EVOO, some of the olive oil here. And you're just gonna give them a quick toss. Quick toss in the olive oil. Get all these little guys pretty good coated here. Don't forget your second tray. So just using standardized Old Bay seasoning because it's already got all the flavorings in it that I want. And we're just gonna go pretty liberally because we do like ours like heavily seasoned here and we're actually going to give these guys a toss 
and recode them again. And this, to be honest with you guys, is just as much or as little as you want. If this is enough for you guys, you know, at this point, give them a toss, throw them in the oven, and they'll still come out really great. Right. So now we're ready to prep our meat. So we pulled our meat out of the fridge. So it should be nice and chilled and ready to go. And now we're going to cut our sliders. So we're just going to pull this off. Should be nice and beautiful. Yeah, that's nice. So, and we're going to cut, we're going to get about six sliders under here, out of here. So I don't know if you can tell, but I sort of pre-scored the meat. So using a hamburger bun, as I said, we only have regular hamburger buns. We don't have slider buns. So we got the meat about the same size. So we're going to have six pieces of meat for the sliders. So we're just going to chop this up. One. Two, three, perfect. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a nice bed of onions on there. We're gonna put these right on top of the onions and uh, and they will steam up beautifully. So we'll see you in a minute. We have our griddle heated to 350. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our onions down. So we're just gonna make a nice little bed. While you guys were out, we also cooked up uh, a couple of pieces of bacon because why not add some bacon to some sliders? Seriously. So we have some bacon grease already on here, so that's going to be really, really nice. So we're just going to put our onions on here. That's nice. That's what you want to hear. So when we're going to make a nice little bed. Get all that onion out of there. There we go. Off to the side. Now we're just going to spread this out a little bit, make a nice little bed. That'll be perfect for our sliders. Try to make sure it's the right size. Spread out enough so you can get all your meat on there, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, I think we're kind of ready for the burgers. Yeah, I think we're about ready to go. So we got the bacon grease on here, and that's going to have give some really nice flavor. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to grab these burgers, and I'm just going to slap them on here one by one. These sliders are going to be fantastic. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the cheese on. So we're just going to do a piece of cheddar. So we're doing cheddar. You don't have to do cheddar. You can do any cheese you want. American cheese is traditional, but cheddar is what we have. We're locked in right now. So, you know, these are going to be extra cheesy. So we're putting a piece of cheese on each one. And then we're going to take the buns and we're going to put them on the top. There we go. That's going to get nice and melty. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bottom bun. We're only making two burgers, so they're going to be triple cheeseburgers. So I'm just going to put these on right here on the two biggest ones, and then we'll pile on top of that. Then we're going to take these, put these on a skew right here, make sure they get nice and steamed and melty too. So this is ready to go. It's only going to take six minutes. So... And we're going to put the foil on, but the one thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we get this steam really, really going. So we have our residual, uh, we have our residual uh, juice from the onion. So we're just going to pour that in between to make sure we get that steam really going. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, that smells amazing. So now we're just going to put this on top. And let it do its thing. You don't want to create a super seal here because you don't want your bun to get soggy. So again, like three to five. Oh, that's hot. That's getting hot. All right. So and just let it go. All right. So our burger should be ready to go. I'm going to cut the heat. Pull this off. 
Oh, that's looking beautiful. Now, unfortunately, you're not going to get every piece of onion off, but you'll get most of it off, which will be delicious. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these off. Place these. Oh, that's hot. That's going to be awesome. Place that down right there. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to put a little ketchup on the top bun. A little. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I love when ketchup does that. Oh, yeah, it's always fun. Good bit of ketchup on mine. Yeah, and a little bit of ketchup on the top. Okay. That'll be good. All right, now we're going to start pulling these off. So what we want to do is we want to grab the bottom first. So I'm just going to get under there. See if you can get as much of that onion as possible. There you go. You need to pick up a little bit more when you get the other couple patties in there. Yeah. If you're, you know, double or triple pattying like we are. Now I'm going to flip that up. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that. So, and just move that one over. So you can get some of that extra onion off. Ooh, see if you can flip that over. Oh, yeah, that's going to be good. Look at all that beautiful melty cheese and onion. Now, as you can see, we put the bacon on top of here. So now we're just going to start patting it up. Oh, we got some crispy onion there, too. That's going to be great. I want some crispy onion. Yeah. Okay. One right there. It's so we got messy, the messy, but it's going to be good. Yeah, we got the bacon in the middle. Might only be able to go too high. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, you're right. Too hot, yeah. But we'll be able to make a third burger now. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, so just to recap, we made lock in sliders with Old Bay fries. So we steamed our sliders on a bed of onions on our griddle over there. And these are Old Bay fries. They look nice and crispy and delicious. We just cut up some russet potatoes, seasoned them liberally with Old Bay and cayenne pepper. So. Let's see how they turn out. They look delicious. Thanks, guys, for checking us out today, and uh, we'll be back soon.